Hi guys, I'm Kevin and welcome to the 360 Video Network. Uh, today I'm really excited uh, because uh, my new VR camera has just arrived. So here it is. I've ordered it from uh, Wex. It's still quite difficult to obtain here in the UK. Uh, I was hoping it would come on Amazon, like the Insta360 um, One X. Um, but unfortunately it hasn't for some reason. Um, you can get it direct from Insta, but I think they, they ship it in. Uh, or you can get it from uh, a camera retailer. So I bought this from a company called Wex, uh, which I think incorporates Calumet. So I'm hoping a good, reliable company. I'm hoping that it'll be a good product. So that's what this is in front of me. But also, you might have noticed at the start of this video that I had another box. Uh, this one is from Amazon. So what we've got here um, is my favorite SD card and one that I'd recommend, and I'll give you the link below so you can get it if it appeals to you and that is uh, a card from Samsung uh, and it's about 20, 24, 25 pounds for 128 gigabytes and it's quite a quick card. I really recommend it, it's what I use, I think they're great uh, and I hope it's of interest to you too so I'll put the link below for you down in the, uh, down in the description. So that's what this is. But first of all uh, let's, open, let's open the guest of honour, the, uh, the Insta360 Evo. And somewhere here, I have a knife, and uh, I'll try to open it without cutting myself. Probably go, probably go in the side. Uh, this is my first unboxing, as you can probably tell. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see what happens, and whether I actually get into uh, whether I get into the box without uh, either cutting myself or damaging the camera. There we go. So that's the first scene, and then here's the second. Okay, and then check up here. Uh, I think that sounds okay. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we've finally got uh, a groove. Oh, straight through here. For those of you, of you who are good at opening boxes, maybe you can leave me some advice in the comments box as to how to do this more quickly, more elegantly. Because as you can see, I'm not very good at opening cardboard boxes. There we go. I've got lots of these, so get rid of that one. Oh, and a big long one too. And then if I open it, you can see actually just how small the product is. So you can see in here, we've got another one. And here we've got the actual product itself. Well, I haven't even seen it yet. You've seen it before I do. Let's put that there. Wow. And the first thing you notice, and unfortunately you're not going to be able to see this uh, on the screen, um, but actually, Insta have somehow managed to get an image on the back of a group of friends, looks like at a birthday party, with a cake uh, and with their wine glasses. And it looks amazing. Now, on camera, you're probably not going to see. You might be able to. Yeah, look, it looks like you can see the. Um, it looks like you can see the image, but what you can't appreciate is the depth uh, to show what this camera can do um, to show that depth, that 3D effect that uh, is the hallmark of this Insta360 Evo. So that's the back of it. Now what else have we got? This is the front. Uh, really really nicely packaged actually, not, not what I was expecting at all. Uh, and on the front you can see the device. Now it's actually smaller than I expected it to be. I'd seen a couple of reviews and they'd said it's quite a small device. Uh, but boy, is it a small device. If we use this for comparison, uh, you can see the, I mean, this admittedly is in its uh, 3D mode, so you can see that the lenses are next to each other. So of course it, it is wider, but if we look at height, uh, I would say that the Yi is, yeah, I mean, easily, it's twice the height, isn't it? And we can see it says Insta360 uh, Evo, uh, 3D and 360 degrees hybrid 
camera. So yeah, very, very excited about this. So when it's doing 3D, you can do 180 degrees, which is sort of from there to there. Uh, and you can do 360 capture. Now, interestingly, they've misspelled it. I know, isn't this, isn't this pedantic to be looking for spelling mistakes in a brand new uh, tech product? Uh, but you can see it says uh, 360 capture. So if you're listening, Insta, um, we, need to, we need to work on your spelling. I promise I can help you with that if you give me lots of free cameras. Uh, just a suggestion. Um, <laughs> also, uh, we can see 5.7K video and 18 megapixel video. So I'm looking forward to that. On my Yi, um, which, as you know, I love, uh, and I've, I've filmed some really great uh, films on it, uh, it is 5.7K. However, um, for video, you have to stitch it, and they do provide you with software, but that software um, only works on a PC, and I use a Mac. So I haven't really been able to use that. I've tended to allow video to self-stitch, so I've been limited to 4K. The one thing that I have used, and I recommend this to, to anyone uh, who wants to create really high quality 360 footage that looks good on VR headsets, is to actually, instead of using video, because let's face it, in 360, the point of 360 is not to watch motion particularly, is it? It's to get a sense of place, to be immersed in a particular environment, to be able to look around at leisure. Now, if it's video and you're moving, the viewer you know, may have different ideas about what they want to see to what the person filming does. So you might be looking around and the cameraman walks off and it can be a little bit jarring, it can be a little bit frustrating, it can make you feel dizzy if you're wearing a headset. Whereas if you use a still 360 image, then it gives the viewer more time uh, to look around, they're less likely to feel queasy, but also the quality is better. Um, I don't know why that is, uh, but it seems that Oculus and the YouTube app on Oculus is able to render a crisper image if it is a uh, still photo in 360 than if it's video. I don't know why. But the other thing was um, that this camera can actually stitch 5.7K photos uh, on the camera. Uh, so I was tending to use a collection of photos and putting them together, almost a slideshow, for my videos. Um, partly because I think, you know, maybe it looks better on the Oculus, but mainly because uh, I thought 4K really wasn't good enough quality for um, 360 VR uh, because of the way that the pixels are spread uh, around the 360 degree sphere of view. I thought 5.7K was, was necessary and I could stitch it. So that's what I did. So the great thing about this is I'll be able to use Insta's um, excellent applications both for the phone and for my Mac. So I'll be able to now film video uh, as well as photos in 5.7K. So it'll look much better, and I'm really looking forward to that. What else have we got? And then the final thing we've got is uh, we've got on the other side a demonstration of how the camera works. And for those of you who are not familiar, I've perhaps spoken as if you're familiar with Insta360 and how it works, and you probably thought, well, looking at that, how is that a 360-degree camera? And the way that they manage it is that's as you're seeing at the moment in its 3D 180 mode, but effectively it folds in on itself so that those two cameras uh, go on either side. Uh, it's able to do that. Okay, so here it is. Let's open it. Let's take the little plastic. And what have we got inside? Uh, well, we've got the camera. And then, uh, very nicely packaged. Almost, um, you know, saw the trend as an Apple with the iPhone. Uh, but really beautifully packaged. If you can see, the camera is actually um, is actually attached to this little little box, uh, which is actually metal. Uh, it's actually cold to the touch. You expect it to be cardboard, don't you? Uh, but it's actually metal. Uh, and then if we look inside, um, it sits very neatly upon this, which is again very Apple. Uh, I assume this is the instructions and, and so forth uh, in there. And uh, then we've got two two further boxes in here. Uh, we've got um, this, which I think is a set of glasses which goes on your phone and it makes 
uh, you're able to see 3D on your phone if you don't have the optional hollow lens, which, which I don't, because uh, you need an iPhone 10, I think, for that. Uh, but this will clip onto my phone, uh, and it should allow me to see depth in any photos or video I take. So looking forward to getting that out. Uh, and also you've got uh, another neat little black box. You've got the charger. So all in all, very nicely presented, very impressed. Um, which, oh, we've got the camera uh, in its 3D mode uh, that seems to be secured to this metal box, which again tells you just in case you forgot what you bought, uh, that you bought an Insta360 Evo. Um, and then it appears that there's another little box uh, which is within this metal container. So I think, ah, oh, there we go. So if you look here, that actually detaches. Uh, so we've got a little box here and there's a little hole. And the reason there's a little hole, really nicely thought out, is, can you see there's a little screw there that holds the camera in? And for those of you who, like me, were into model cars when you were children, uh, that's how they would anchor model cars to their plinth. Uh, and that's what they've used to anchor the phone, uh, the camera, uh, onto, onto this plinth. And then underneath we've got yet another box. So four boxes, uh, lots and lots of stuff. A great sense of value. Uh, in terms of the packaging. And what have we got in here? The one thing I can see that we've got, and it's very snug. It's really, it really is like Apple actually. I think they must have, um, Insta must have hired the Apple packaging guru because it really does feel you know, designed in that style. Now here we've got, we've got this, and I, I think this is going to be the case, it feels soft, so I'll get that in a bit. Here we've got, and we've got the uh, the tripod and the, um, the stick to hold it. And I've got to say, it feels really nice, really nice quality. You can see that it is tubular in its shape, and it does feel almost a perfect tube in your hand. It feels really nice. Um, some of them are, uh, I know for the Yi, it was a tripod similar in size to this, but there were discrete legs, so you could hold it, but it felt like three legs folded in. It didn't feel like a tube. This, I can imagine, is really nice in your hand. If we open it up. Yeah, it feels really good quality. I'm really I'm impressed by this. Um, it's my first Insta product, and for those of you who've got them, perhaps you've had similar experiences, both in terms of the quality of the packaging uh, and the accessories, but it feels really nicely put together. You know, when you fold them, it kind of, it feels quality. Now I think it's about time that we uh, set the camera free from its shackles. Uh, so we'll go to the bottom of it and we will uh, we'll unscrew it. Oh. We can see for the first time the underneath of the Insta360 Evo. And you can see it's almost a vented design, isn't it? Uh, with, with little holes. I don't know if they're functional. Um, I think it's just designed by the look of it, uh, which is which is good. It looks as if one of them is a hole for the microphone. Um, but the other side, this side, if you look, it does look completely... Um, it looks completely sealed. Uh, but a nice, nice effect. They could have just gone for a flat plastic, uh, and they haven't. And the plastic feels nice. It feels a sort of softened plastic. To be honest, this always felt quite quite nicely put together. This this has a similar sort of soft. I don't know how you describe it, but not a brittle plastic, um, almost a rubberized plastic, and I'd say that this is quite similar. Uh, and the cameras, apparently, they're positioned a similar distance to eyes. I don't know. You can tell me in the comments whether they've succeeded. Is it about where my eyes are? Yeah, it is about where my eyes are, isn't it? Uh, so the idea, for those of you who don't know, is humans perceive depth by virtue of their two eyes and the position, and we're able to synthesise the difference between each eye, and it gives us a sense of depth. And with 3D, that's how they achieve the same two cameras, which are a similar distance apart from each other as, as our eyes. And that allows um, the camera to give that sense of depth. So that's why it's designed like this. Uh, and then it's party piece. Uh, I think here, if we press that button, 
the lock button. If we... Gosh, I'd heard that it was well built, but that is incredible. Yeah, I mean, that is really secure. I don't even know if I can unlock that. And the back, as you can see, sort of plain, uh, and you can see the hinge. <laughs> so what you do is that there, if you can see it, um, I assume that you'd slide that across and that would unlock it, but you don't. If you can see here, there's a button there and there's a button there. So lock here and a lock here. So what you do, by the looks of it, is you press that button and she folds. So, folds like that. At this point, first time I've seen that joint, so you can see the hinge, see the hinge there. And then here, the other side, and what you do by the looks of it is there's a little there's a little button there, and it looks as though you slide that across. Yeah, and it locks, and it's quite secure actually. Um, I'd heard reports about them opening up and not being secure, uh, but actually, it looks very nice, uh, very nicely put together to me. And it turns from that sort of wide, not very deep device into what is in essence a cube. Uh, and this, of course, is for 360 uh, mode. Yeah, and if I yeah, that that is really that's really secure actually, really good. And if you look, there's there's no discernible gap between the two parts when it's folded. Um, it is like a composite unit. You do have this little lock folded out. I wonder if there's a way of a way of putting that in. Yes, there is. There we go. So you don't have to have that sticking out. You can slide that in um, or slide it out, and then to put it back into its um, 180 uh, 3D mode, uh, what we do is we press that button there to unlock and then uh, probably what we should do is slide, slide, slide that in and then it will fold. I'll show you like that, probably more interesting because the camera's coming together and then like that and then to secure it we pull out the lock button I think it probably makes it easier to depress the unlock button at the same time so it can slide in I'm sure you can just force across the latch uh, but I think it's probably a better idea more secure and, and then yeah. power and mode hmm so fairly straightforward when you know how